OpenAI is firing shots off here at Google and Perplexity. They've just announced Search GPT, which is something in between a traditional search engine and an AI-powered answered in answers engine like Perplexity. All right, so give me about five minutes. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know and give you a preview of how you can already see what this looks like because it's not available yet. All right, let's jump into it and go over what you need to know. Uh, if you're new here, what's going on? My name is Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and careers. So if that's you, you're in the right place. We do these AI in five videos almost every single day to help you better leverage generative AI. So let's just take a very quick look at this uh, page. So uh, OpenAI just sent out uh, a tweet in a blog post yesterday talking about this search GPT prototype. So start with the, the big thing here. It's not available yet. Uh, you have to go click and join the wait list. Also worth knowing if you're on a team account, you can't join. You have to join with a personal account. Uh, I have both, uh, but so I had to join with my personal account. So that's worth noting as well. I also don't think you can join right now with an enterprise account. So you can only join the waitlist if you have a personal account. Uh, I'm guessing that means from OpenAI, they haven't quite figured out uh, maybe sharing or how to you know, properly make this work in a team or a multi-user environment. Uh, so, so nothing, you know, groundbreaking. And, you, you know, if you follow Everyday AI, we've actually been talking about this since, uh, I don't know, February, uh, because it's been rumored since then, uh, you know, we thought that they were going to announce this uh, back in April at their spring event, but they actually just announced GPT-40 and kind of an updated interface and a bunch of features that aren't out yet. All right. So, you know, you can see kind of the video here. It's it very, it works very much like a combination uh, between Google and uh, Perplexity. So, you know, uh, I'll leave the link here in the uh, in this URL where you can go see it. But, you know, here in this video example, they're showing, uh, you know, music festivals in Boone, uh, Boone, North Carolina in August. And then the replies here, it looks very much like a traditional search engine here. So you get a little image, you get a headline and a link. That's the important part, right? Uh, because there's going to be a lot of lawsuits coming in the rest of 2024 and 2025 uh, because essentially all these AI powered search engines are kind of stealing traffic and publishers aren't too happy about that. Uh, one feature that is uh, kind of new and you haven't seen here in a second on the left hand side, you can click the little search uh, or the little uh, link icon and then actually get all of the links that were used. Um, so kind of like two different ways, but it looks like OpenAI in this regard with search GPT is really going a little more traditional search and a little less perplexity, at least with this kind of layout and feature. Uh, so you can go through and scroll and see all this, but I mean, here's, here's the long story short. No one has access to this yet. Uh, OpenAI, I think they're kind of right between like Claude and Google when it comes to rolling out new features. Uh, I think Claude, when they have a new feature, it's just out. It's available. Everyone gets it. I love that about Anthropic and Claude. Google, they talk about things at their you know I/O developer conference, and you may not ever see it. So fortunately, unfortunately, uh, OpenAI is kind of in the middle. So uh, you know, do they deliver on their promises? Sure. Uh, whereas I think Google sometimes, you know, they talk about all these things and then they just never happen. Uh, so some things OpenAI releases kind of immediately, sometimes not. Uh, so uh, now let me just show you this uh, because a lot of people don't know. You can already kind of get a look to what this looks like. Uh, so I actually did a uh, I did a video about this. Give me a second here. I'll share my screen. I did a video about this a couple of months ago here uh, because when uh, OpenAI released GPT-40, Browse with Bing got a complete makeover, okay? And Search GPT, according to reports right now, is going to be powered by Bing. So people literally don't know this, and I'm going to show you this right now. You can actually get a little taste of what this new search GPT is going to look like. All right. So I have, let's go ahead and share my screen here. All right. So I have, um, side by side, I have, uh, open AI chat GPT open on the left-hand side. And then I have perplexity on the right-hand side. So again, like before April, 2024 browse with Bing, if I'm being honest, was pretty bad. Uh, huge improvements that no one talked about in April. So I don't know if it, if they actually made, you know, improvements to browse with Bing, if there was like a V2, 
kind of like how there was a V2 with advanced data analysis, or if it's just something with the prop handling within GPT-4.0 versus GPT-4 Turbo. But Browse with Bing is actually really good. And a lot of those features that I just showed you on my screen with this new search GPT, which is not available, you can kind of get it inside of chat GPT right now if you do some proper prompting. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this is, and we're going to run these side by side. I haven't run these. We're doing this live. This is unedited. So I'm saying, what is the latest news from OpenAI in regards to chat GPT product updates, rumors, and announcements? Please reply back with the 10 biggest developments. To do this, please use Browse with Bing and carefully review at least eight sources going step by step. Today's date is July 26, 2024. Please focus on the most up-to-date news possible. Please only find news from July 2024. Okay, and I'm running the exact same uh, kind of prompt in perplexity, minus I'm taking out where I'm telling it to use Browse with Bing. So a lot of people don't know this. If you instruct uh, ChatGPT to use Browse with Bing and go multiple steps, uh, go to multiple websites, giving it a minimum of eight. Sometimes I'll ask for 10. The most I've ever gotten is 11, uh, but generally it, I usually get about eight or nine. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to run these live side by side and you'll see that actually ChatGPT has had an answers engine already out in the wild for three months and no one's been paying attention, but I've been telling you about it. All right, ready? Let's go ahead and run these results side by side because so many people are talking about, oh, now we'll be able to use chat GPT like perplexity. Guess what? It's already been here. Let's look. All right. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see the speed as well. So you'll see right away, chat GPT was actually faster to start. We'll see which one's faster to finish, right? So uh, we're getting our list here. Uh, and I'm, I'm on the paid version of both. That's also worth knowing. Uh, I have the paid version of Perplexity. I have obviously have the paid version of ChatGPT uh, Plus and ChatGPT Teams. Uh, so you'll see ChatGPT is not only faster, right? But it did go to multiple sources as I asked, right? So uh, here we go. ChatGPT not only started first, it ended first. Perplexity is still going. I technically hit go on ChatGPT maybe a half second before, but it looks like easily it won by about 20 to 30 seconds. So uh, now let's see how many websites did it actually go to? So let's see here in sources. Uh, I need to move this screen a little bit. So it looks like total perplexity went to eight, even though I didn't tell it to. I just right? I had that part in chat GPT. Uh, I told open, uh, I, I told browse with Bing to do eight. It looks like it went to seven, but that's fine. So yeah, normally it goes to like a little fewer than you tell it to. Uh, and again, generative AI is generative. It's going to get different things, but look y'all, it went to, uh, even though it went to a lot of open AI sites, it went to other sites as well to see the latest updates, uh, from open AI. So, uh, let's go ahead and look at the quality, right? So uh, looks like we got GPT-4.0 mini on the left-hand side here. Did we get that on the right-hand side? Uh, no. Interesting. So perplexity missed one of the biggest news pieces. Uh, I do see here on the right-hand side, uh, perplexity got search GPT. Let's see if OpenAI did uh, chat GPT. It's just kind of meta, right? Using chat GPT to search for chat GPT news with chat GPT. Uh, let's see. Okay. So it doesn't look like we got search GPT. So, you know, there's pros and cons. Not every, uh, you know, not everyone did it. So I'm going to do a follow-up prompt. Normally I don't do this, but um, uh, let's, I'm just curious. I'm going to say, um, you, you know, that's okay. Uh, but we missed some big uh, developments. Please try one more time. Going to more sources and finding the most up-to-date news uh, given today's date of July 26th. Is that today's date? Yeah, July 26th, 2024. All right, this time I'm going to let perplexity go first just so we can be a little fair. All right, so now... You know what I'm saying? Like generative AI never just do something once. Copy and paste prompts mean nothing, right? Uh, even when you're using perplexity, I always essentially have a prompt ready that's like, ah, this is fine, but do better. Uh, you, you know, uh, so so here we go. Right now, you can see ChatGPT again faster. Uh, it looks like it went to 10 sites this time, and let's see if it gets a wider variety. It looks like it's going to a lot of open AI sites. Uh, so I could prompt it and tell it to go to only third-party sites, uh, but it looks like it's still going to uh, a few others. So now let's see. Uh, so it looks like, unfortunately, 
Okay, interesting. So it looks like uh, ChatGPT did not get the brand new feature, which is Search GPT. Uh, and it looks like, let's see over here. Okay, so finally on the second attempt, Perplexity did get GPT 4.0 Mini, but it didn't get it on the first attempt. All right, but I mean, there you go. You can already tell. And with proper prompting, right, I could get them. Uh, you know what? I never like doing this, but let's just do it one more time. I'm going to say, uh, please do not use one uh do not use one source more than once and make sure all sources are unique right i'm just seeing if that's going to trigger something a little different in chat gpt i probably should have done that because i do know that browse with bing tends to just use a lot of repetitive sources or the same uh you, you know url for a lot of things so i'm just curious okay so there we go now it only used open ai once i probably should have started with that but um so, I mean, there you go. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, you just saw that this is kind of already available in a very short form. I, I, I saw a lot of people online talking about, you know, oh, finally we can get, you know, up to date uh, research uh, in answers engine with chat GPT. Uh, obviously it looks like search GPT is going to be much, much better at that. However, it's kind of already been under our nose for a long time. All right. I hope this was helpful, y'all. Uh, I know I said I'd get this in about five minutes. It went a little bit longer, but if this was helpful, please let me know and please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five or AI in 11 and a half. Thanks, y'all.